57 now, I think, of a GTA 300% walkthrough. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna head to this uh, bridge, which is like the main road in Shoreside, if you like, and give it a whack. Um, I don't know, actually, I'm in two minds. The fire truck is smoking, so. No, I know. Yeah. I may as well just finish this import list while well, I'm passing the Banshee anyway. I actually forgot about the spawn point. I was, I was sort of passing the uh, roads, I was looking for the Banshee, but yeah, it's just, just down there, next to the sort of rerouted ramp page. Now we get our first import bonus for this. I can pick out any car I want. I don't think it charges. So this is uh, really handy actually. Whenever I'm passing, I think I'll be getting either Banshee and Ferdis or Chi. Oh, that's how I've still got Esperanto to go. But I do have one of them in my garage. In uh, Stoughton Island, so yeah, that's not too bad. They occasionally spawn around here as well. So, um, I'll, I'll keep an eye out. It's probably the longest car in the game, so it's not too hard to miss. Yeah, on a stretch, of course. <laughs> right, uh, we'll head straight back to fire truck missions, because I do want to get them out of the way pretty soon, because once you complete them, I think you're completely inflammable. But So if I recall, I got three last time. Um, I check the stats if I do get lost on it, because obviously yeah, I'm going to be restarting and restarting these missions so much based on that. So uh, I'll just be getting like ones and twos and might lose track of it. I did 41 because uh, I remember doing one more than was necessary at this point. Um, arriving at the island, so yeah, once I get to 61. All these out the way. Straight away, I'm gonna ignore that one. Um, oh no, we shouldn't actually. Pike Creek's not the one I was thinking of. I was thinking I had to go to a cheap garden set, but stuff like this is just perfect. See, that's the one that gives me nightmares. Do not want to go to a cheap. We're looking to do it. We're driving our help cars out. I can only assume time does actually collect on the fire truck missions. I don't think it always did on the ambulance missions. And um, that is brilliant, I suppose, because there might be the odd occasion where, say, if I get six or seven out on the row on here, then I can make it to Pike Creek for another one. That is, like, ridiculous far away. So it's proven, we're we'll getting a good run here. That's six out the way now. So I'll be surprised if we do get to 20 just in this fire truck because you can't paint and spray it. And, uh, it even the fire truck, as strong as it may seem, will eventually go up. But if we get this out the way next episode or so, then I'm doing pretty well.
pretty sure I've delivered this to the import list. That's something I need to remember. The emergency import. I still need to get an FBI call, which is a... a you know, I sort of have a plan for that. I think I'm, I'm going to get the vigilante mission out of the way, get some bribes in me. Garage, then sort of lure them into a, a fight and just uh, grab the bribes once I've grabbed the car. <coughs> but there are other ways, I suppose. I mean, I could just get right by the import list, get the FBI on me then, and run the risk of just surviving the firefight. But um, I'm in no great rush for that. I think the, the vigilante mission is was always going to be the one I'm going to leave to the end. Sad, you do end up being in flannel after this, but of all the GTA games, it's probably the least important game to be in flammable in, I think. GTA 3. Because you don't actually use a lot of explosives as opposed to like other missions. Uh, this one might be tough to get to. I think it's a Pike Creek, so. Oh, I'll give it a go, I'll give up on this one, because I'm getting a bit of a run, obviously. It does get easier the more of a run you get, because of time. It was always handy to remember this. I mean, that bridge over there isn't the only means of connecting the two halves of the island. There's this, of course. But it's just a bit more out the way. If you've got, like, a minute or 30 seconds or something, there's no chance you're going to make it to Wichita Gardens, for example. <coughs> I think reference in the other games that I will get the fire engine missions out of the way as soon as. Um, the reason it's sort of pointless on this game is because you have to, of course, do 20 on each island, so there's only a set point in the game that you can complete it up. Anyways, but the other games were at a level 1 to 12 process, like the vigilante and the ambulance. Then, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get this out of the way pretty much within the first five, ten episodes. San Andreas is the big one. The last mission in particular is like a doddle once you're fireproof. You can sort of run through the, the burning belt. I remember last time I was in a fire truck, I was chatting about uh, future games I'm going to do. Sort of uh, tie up on it again. Uh, I've been looking today and I've still got an old PS2, which is still to this day one of my favourite consoles. And I was looking at um, getting a power lead and maybe buying some old games for that, so it's uh, hopefully going to get to the point where after this GTA trilogy is out the way, and um, I probably won't stop there. I'll probably you playing some other GTAs, like GTA 5 or something. But then I'm gonna definitely start playing concurrent games. So, you know, uh, I'm thinking of something like, it's funny because it's quite similar to this, uh, Simpsons Second Mom, for instance. We're looking to buy enough PS2 and do a 100% walkthrough of this. I don't think every game I ever play through will be 100% walkthrough because some of them are just too hard or some of them uh, I don't even know how to get 100% walkthrough, just games that I have played before and enjoyed. Other games, of course, can't be 100% war food. In the future, I might do FIFA videos, for instance, or something like that, when uh, the new one comes up. So, um, certain games, though, can be done. Like, uh, I think Kit and Run is an achievable one. In the past, I've got fairly far on that game, you know. I reckon I've caught every collectible, except just a couple of cars and costumes, but on that game, the problem is you get too many coins. Uh, no, sorry, you don't get enough coins as you need via the actual doing the game, so you have to do sort of off-game stuff. Which can be a bit annoying, because in the end, you sort of left just doing wager races. But for purposes of walkthrough, I forgot I don't mind doing it. I'll do that off-camera or something. So that's another game definitely got lined up soon. Uh, as well as the Mario's, which I mentioned on the previous Staunton fire truck. 
Yeah, the GTA is online now. Like I've said before, Liberty City Stories is the only one I've done 100% completion before, so yeah, I know what I'm doing in that one in that regard. I have done it before, so that one should in theory be the easiest. Uh, I've clearly finished this mission, I'm still more than the anticipated area, and uh, I decided you become flammable, and <laughs> obviously not. You just get the flamethrower delivered to your hideout, so I'll just double check out on the 61. Perhaps on this game you can't become inflammable, so yeah, apologies for that, I just assumed. I think that's the prize for like most other GTAs, where you do the uh, firefighter mission. If I've passed it, oh no, there we go, yeah, 61. So that's it, that's all the fire truck missions out the way. It's a bit of a relief, um, Right, 72 taxi drivers. And uh, so we've got quite a lot of unique jumps. They, them over on page is just absolute nightmare, so I'm definitely going to have to like check online at how old people did and maybe if there is a strat or something. So for now, I think the only thing to do is uh, head to Asuka. I'm going to try and keep this actually. I want to see how far this can get off the bridge jump. It's either that or I suppose what I could do is um, bring my Esperanto back. I may as well do that because I think Asuka's mission is run over to the next episode anyway. And uh, I don't intend to get off this suit. <coughs> what I tend to do is play this game. And um, I'm sort of still playing it while I'm uploading it, if you get me. So like, I'll upload, say, episode 54. will be uploaded while I'm playing through episode 55, so there's not much sort of leeway, I'm sort of playing it, you, you know, you're watching me 10 minutes behind basically. So I do need to double check that rampage, I, most rampages on this game I don't think took more than 3 attempts. Them two alone are probably taking about 5 each now, so yeah, it is a concern. It's probably the last big concern aside from the, the side missions, the Patriot Playground and the Grip. Because me and the impound lot, well, it can be tough. I'm still a bit surprised actually that I've still got four vehicles I just haven't encountered yet at all in the game. Um, yeah, sooner or later I will encounter them, I think. And it's sort of a, not like missions where, you know, either I can do them or I can't. Oh my god, I completely forgot about that, innit? I could have used that in some missions, in the Bulletproof Patriot. I've had in previous games, I've actually like, destroyed it or something, but I didn't tend to keep hold of it this time, so I'm glad I came back and remembered about that. That's like the go-to vehicle for next, uh, last mission, so yeah. It's the first time I've actually been on it when it's gone up. <laughs> I always quite like doing the jump, but I'm glad I didn't smash this or roll it. No, I'm doing for time. Okay, I've got 30 seconds left, so I might just make this in time, but I might have to cut the episode right before I get it. Perfect time, actually. So there we go, there's the import list done. I'm just going to call it an episode right there. 